Let's mount up. Hey guys, well we are getting ready to uh, crack open the old shed here and start getting organized, pull the flats out, and uh, start getting ready for setup. Uh, we're a little under two weeks away from when we want to set up, so we're looking at October 1st for setup. So we got a lot to do, so let's get to it. All right, so we've gotten through the first, I don't know, five feet or so of stuff. And I thought it'd be fun to take a minute here and show you guys the density at which we pack this thing. I'd say our uh, Tetris skills have gotten pretty good over the years. Hey, Benny. Hey, are you excited about Halloween? Yeah. What'd you think? What do, do, you, do you remember all this stuff? What about this stuff? It's all our Halloween stuff. Oh. Is that a lot of stuff? Yeah. Look at this red thing. It's for getting stuff up high. Um, yep. Why? I don't know. All right, we are done for the day. Just wanted to show you guys the progress. You can see the back wall of the shed, so that's always a good thing. We still have a lot of stuff up here. Uh, that's all our skeletons and tombstones and other decorations for the town, so we'll keep those guys up there for now. We've got all this stuff stacked up over here. Uh, these are a lot of our tubs of different stuff, wiring and all kinds of stuff. I'll probably end up putting that stuff back in the shed because it'll need to stay in there for weeks and that way if it rains or anything it'll be uh, protected in there so that'd be good. Here we got some miscellaneous crates and other things. Where are these? Oh these are the top for the blacksmith. Chairs, wagon wheels, all kinds of good stuff. So I decided to switch things up a little bit on how we're handling this this year. I well, usually we basically take all the flats and stack them up in a pile and then that way they're easy to throw a tarp over in case of rain, stuff like that. But to make things a little easier this year, we are separating them out in different parts of the yard. Kind of makes uh, kind of makes everything a hot mess, but that's okay. We've got a lot of the buildings all grouped together. This is the photography building and the, the jail over here, um, shooting gallery. Um, but what I think we're going to do is usually we just take one weekend and kind of set everything up and just it's like a killer long weekend trying to get everything ready but I think we're gonna split it up this year a little bit and maybe start next weekend um, and just take a little bit longer to get these buildings up and so I'm hoping to kind of strategically place these things so that we've got all the panels that we need for each building um, that way we can just kind of start uh, the first thing we'll start with uh, will be the blacksmith which will go over here whoops sorry I ended up getting a new gimbal. I've always wanted one. I ended up getting one this year to try out. I'm still uh, figuring out how it works. But anyway, the blacksmith facade will go here. So we'll start with that. And I'm hoping maybe next weekend we can start with that and maybe uh, start getting a couple buildings up and just kind of work on it at a little bit slower pace uh, just to make things a little bit easier for us. All right, so I got my circuit board order in the mail and thought I would uh, do a little unboxing here. The total time uh, from order to when I received it was 12 days, uh, which I thought was pretty good uh, considering I paid for the affordable shipping option. So let's uh, crack this open. Let's see what we got here. All right. I know this is going to be very exciting, you know, some circuit boards here. But let's see. All the wrap, and then it looks like they're all packaged up in a bag. So there we go. That's oops, that's upside down. That's pretty cool, actually, though, to uh, be able to make that on the computer and draw it all out and then order it. I have it shipped to you. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, take a look at one of these boards, and see what we got. I just hope this works. That's the next test. Uh, but it looks cool, right? So this is the top of the board, and you can see the different traces connecting the uh, components. Uh, and then there's the bottom of the board. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, now let's just hope it works. If it works, I'm gonna be super excited. So I looked at this a little more and I did notice a problem. Um, I noticed all these holes here, like especially you can see down here, 
these are through hole mounting it has a you know a hole that basically uh, the pin for whatever thing you're doing like here's a resistor the wire uh, goes through there and then soldered on the back side and I noticed on this connector up here it has different pads and it seems like I can't tell if there's a hole all the way through or not um, but that's not gonna work how I'd hope to basically like these guys are the other two connectors and they have what I expected and this one did not I should have paid closer attention to that um, but I am wondering if maybe I could just drill those out um, and solder through there if that'll fix it for me but so I'm kind of disappointed on that one I wish I would have caught that but uh, hopefully they'll still work for me all right guys well it is Sunday September 25th and we have officially started setup woohoo so uh, we went ahead and started with the uh, the old blacksmith facade here and we got the whole thing up so that's good that one's always uh the beast it's always one of the heavier ones to get up and it's showing its age uh, unfortunately i don't remember how many years it's been but it's been a while now so it's starting to uh, show its age but we got it all set up and um, that was our goal for today to uh, get at least one facade up so that was good uh, we might come out later and start setting up the bank uh, but i'm it seems doubtful i don't think we're gonna end up having time um, but then hopefully tomorrow we can get started on the bank and uh, go from there. As I was rolling these barrels uh, out of the shed and over to this part of the yard, this whole bottom uh, fell out. Uh, I guess it had kind of rotted. I had it on the side of the shed under a tarp, but got kind of rotted out. Um, so now we're thinking maybe we uh, have some kind of skeleton in there or something. Maybe somebody pops up or some kind of uh, skeleton drinking prop or something. I don't know. God is thinking. All right guys, well it's been a few days, but we are still making progress. Uh, we got the bank facade up, which is good. Um, on this facade this year, I used wire rope that is connected to the, the upper flats there. Uh, last year I had jacks on the back of this and uh, those were you know connected to the ground with rebar. And this year we're hoping to have the doors open uh, to have a scene in there for people to check out so I didn't really want those jacks in there just because uh, you know they're kind of ugly and I didn't really want the, to have to worry about the rebar and stuff like that so I think this uh, this wire rope is gonna work out uh, pretty good this year over here we have the bottom half of the undertaker facade up uh, but we still got to get the uh, top flats in place I've got the photography building facade stacked up over here uh, and I need to make some modifications to this flat here. I'm gonna turn this into a, an actual window uh, before we put it out. And this is gonna be where the display uh, for the photo booth is gonna go. It's gonna be a, basically like a review uh, display and like you would have at like a theme park after you get at a riot and, and go look at the screen to see your pictures. Uh, that's basically what this is gonna be. So um, it'll be it'll actually be a real a, a window, but there'll be a back on it so you won't be able to see inside the uh, the building. All right, so I am in the process of modifying this front flat for the photography building. I'm putting in this window here. Uh, so what I did is I used my router to cut out along here. Uh, this edge is lined up with the trim on the front. So I've got that to start with, uh, and now I got to start taking out. Uh, these pieces here cut those guys down so that I can put some uh, new framing inside there okay so I got the window all done here uh, all I did was I was able to get the uh, old wood on there cut out and uh, just put in some new cross pieces over here and framed out that window so that was good what I'm gonna do next is uh, take some one by 12 boards and build out a frame around that. And then I will make a small flat uh, to go on the back side, and then that's gonna hold the uh, monitor. So I'm working on rebuilding these walls here. These are the interior walls for the photography building. Uh, we had this um, paneling on there for several years. Uh, it was just stuff that we had sit around, so we used it, and it just has not held up well. You can see it's got a fiber fiber board and uh, this stuff is just a mess. So I'm trying to get all the staples out and scrape it off uh, 
so that I can go ahead and just face this with some plywood. All right, I got these all done. Uh, exciting, right? <laughs> I just got some new plywood on there. And then what we need to do is go ahead and paint them and they will be ready to go. So here's a look at what we've got done so far. We got the sheriff's office all in place and the undertaker. Got the bank over here, which is looking nice. And then over on the side, we've got the blacksmith. So uh, on to the right of that is where we'll add our photography building, uh, bathhouse, uh, and wood shack. I'm gonna update these doors and put them on hinges. Uh, and get our scene built for the inside. So we still gotta get going on that. Hey guys, well it's now Monday. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to continue our progress on Sunday uh, because of various sickness issues. Uh, so we were pretty much uh, just hanging out on the couch yesterday. Uh, we did get to watch Hocus Pocus 2, so that was fun, uh, but nothing, we didn't get to do anything outside to work on the town. So, which was a shame because it was such a really nice day yesterday, uh, but what are you gonna do, right? So fingers crossed that we have uh, no more sick kiddos and uh, maybe we can continue our progress. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, obviously, a lot more to do. We are about a month away from Halloween, uh, so we got to kick this into overdrive if we're going to get all this done. So stay tuned, guys, and we'll see you soon.